All right, everybody, it's Daryl back again. I just wanted to do another video on another hive stand. It's like the other one, but it's, it's a little bit narrower, and I'm liking this one a whole lot better. Instead of having to have six center blocks on it, you can only use, you only need four. Uh, as you can see, it's a whole lot more stable than the other one. Uh, what I did, uh, these are now 12 inches and it's 96 and three quarters inches long. And the reason why I like it is uh, it's the width of the center box. So no need to do a whole bunch of extra stuff on it. And, uh, as you can see, the hive stand hangs off on both, or the uh, hive will hang off on both sides, but that doesn't matter. When I built the other one, I was trying to build it the width of the, uh, the hive, not thinking about the stability and everything else on it so uh this is going to be a whole lot better setup if i was going to build them again this is what i would build and maybe when i move those bees back over here that's on my other stands that i've already got built i'll probably cut them down and make them uh 12 inches so 10 foot board cut uh 24 inches off of each end of the board off of the two boards and uh that's how you get your 96 and 3 eighths. And uh, out of two 10 foot uh, two befores, you can make this hive stand. You could fit five uh, hives on here if you need to. It's very sweet. I think those two befores are about $3.50 a piece. So for around $7 and the boards, you can build this hive stand. Of course, you got to buy the screws. And I think a box of screws will run you about six bucks. So you do the math on that. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So hope you're enjoying the videos. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Only take a second, hit that little button. That way you get all the updates on all the uh, videos and stuff. If you got any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.